I think the, the one I would choose is diplomats. What we need is people who are able to go to all the different countries and peoples around the world, understanding their context, understanding their pressures, and work with them on climate diplomacy. And as we in this country look forward to COP26 next year, um, a huge opportunity, but also an incredible responsibility that we have. It's the most important COP since Paris, where we need to see ambition ramped up a great deal further. We're not going to get the outcomes that we require unless that diplomacy has taken place. So if we're going to move through to net zero, we need to be listening to each other as countries, understanding their perspective and not simply trying to impose our own. And, and I would take one historic and one perhaps more current example of that. Um, the historic example is Russia. And of course, Russia signed up to uh, emissions reductions. Um, and then as a result of the economic collapse in Russia, it ended up with huge hot air. It, it ended up with so much environmental credits. And of course, the global community looked and said, oh, well, we, we need to have some of that back now. They looked at it from the point of the credits that were there. And they didn't understand that from a Russian perspective, <laughs> they had suffered a huge economic collapse, that their people, many of them, had been starving as a result of that economic collapse, and as their industry had been just washed away with the collapse of the old Soviet Union and the aftermath of that, that their people had suffered huge economic detriment in order to achieve those environmental credits, those emissions credits. So, it's a very different perspective if you look at this from a UN perspective or a Russian perspective. And, and the current example, I think, would be in Brazil with Bolsonaro. And what is going on in the Amazon is absolutely appalling. And of course, the global community has quite rightly condemned it and, 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 and said this is unacceptable. But very few people have tried to understand what's driving that politically in Brazil and said, if we are to stop Brazilian farmers wanting to burn forest in order to create cattle ranching, there needs to be another economic outlet. And we must actually manage what's driving it rather than simply condemn the result. And of course, what's been effective in Brazilian politics in trying to get Bolsonaro to, to row back from his position has not been the international condemnation. It's been the local examples of families and communities that have had their homes destroyed. So understanding where each other are coming from in any common endeavor like climate change is, and the climate emergency is, requires that we listen carefully to each other and try and figure out what's the truth in what this person is saying. Because very often, we simply want to dismiss it. So it may be an odd thing to say that we need more diplomats to get net zero, but I think without them, without that engagement, and without that listening, we're not going to get there.